China nuclear war fears, as new power plants could be large source of plutonium. War theorists have been raised in the US of the China's new generation nuclear power plants are said to have the capacity to produce large amounts of plutonium that could be used in nuclear weapons. The US strategic command advised lawmakers about Beijing's new, powerful facilities, which boast forced breeder reactors. The first forced breeder reactor is scheduled to become active in 2023's Navy Admiral Charles Richard, commander of the U.S. Strategic Command, delivered a news to the Senate Armed Services Committee on Tuesday. He said with the forced breeder reactor, you now have a very large source of weapons, great plutonium available to you that will change the upper bounds of what China could choose to do if they wanted to, in terms of further expansion of their nuclear capabilities. Concerns were raised in the U.S. amid tensions. Despite there being no evidence, Beijing intends to use large amounts of plutonium to manufacture weapons. China asserted its nuclear program is not intended for belligerent purposes. However, relations between the two countries have been under pressure over links with Taiwan, which China claims as part of its territory. Earlier this month, the U.S. State Department decided to deepen its relations with Taiwan, prompting a stock warning from Beijing. During a press conference, Chinese Foreign Ministry Spark is person, Jail Legion told Washington not to play with fire on the Taiwan issue. He continued immediately stop any form of us, Taiwan, official contacts, cautiously and appropriately handle the matter and not send wrong signals to Taiwan, independence forces so as not to subversively influence and damage Sinora's relations in peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. China has claimed sovereignty over Taiwan, a democracy of around 24 million people, which has been governed separately for over seven decades. However, Beijing claims ownership of the independent island under its own China policy, which demands there is only one sovereign state under the name. China's Secretary of State Antony Blinken has previously expressed Washington's concerns about China's aggressive stance towards Taiwan. Mr. Blinken told Reuters that Beijing had warned the US not to go against its determination to defend its territory.